Hi, John Ason, Director of Instruction down at 3D Golf Performance, and just want to discuss with you today um, a consistency that plagues many people, and that is your pitching shots. These are the shots that don't require a full motion. They're somewhere between your full swing and a chip shot. And it usually requires a little bit of hinge in the wrist and some turn of the body. And we get the arms and the body kind of out of sync. And what I want to do today is just show you a little bit about how we're going to use our pressure point system using a little prop and try to blend the arms and body to stay in harmony. So I'm going to show you from down the line first. All I've got here is my wedge. I've got my target set up at about 50 yards, so I'm kind of hitting a 50 yard shot. Um, I know that that means my backswing is going to be regulated somewhere around the 9 o'clock position on both sides, really. And that is just the position of my hands and, and my arms are at that 9 o'clock spot and then 3 o'clock spot over here. So I've got my wedge and you've obviously seen where I've placed the, the little mini ball you can pick up at any um, Toys R Us local store. Kids ball, very light. And then once I get into position here, I'm just focused on engaging the pressure points to keep that ball trapped. Alright, so that's a little 50 yard pitch shot there and pretty good contact. And now I'll show you from face on how that, how that looks at impact. Okay, so here I am face on. Again, I've got the ball trapped between my forearms. And again, these kind of props or any kind of training aids or devices that you use are, are really just there for, um, to build some awareness and keep you mindful of, of certain things. And in this case here, what I want to feel is I want to feel some pressure points um, in my hands. And of course we have the three, the two heel pads pressing together to create pressure on the handle. Um, and of course in the back of my left arm, the top part of my left arm against the side of my chest. Now, I'm also working on some stability in my lower body when I make these chip shots because I know that I want to stay feeling like I'm going to be left so I can get that sensation of an opposing force, that is my tailbone or my, my hips moving away from where my arms are going. And this will make sure that my low point is in front of the ball so I can really make solid, consistent contact. Okay, So what you saw there was uh, a general pitch shot using this prop between my arms to keep myself mindful of the pressure points engaged throughout the swing so that my arms and body could blend in harmony through the motion and create a little bit more of a connection with my pivot. And that's what I'll do again here without the ball now. And I feel like I can, I can deliver my hands and arms with my pivot and make that consistent impact every single time. That way, easy to judge the length of my swing to fit with the length of the shot. Obviously, you can strategize around many different wedges while you're doing this, get different boffs and different spins on the ball. So good luck with this drill, good golfing, and enjoy the hit.